Check this out. Oh my god. Over here we have this pool noodle makeshift. My goal here is hopefully is to shoot the arrow through here and see if it can actually slice the pool noodle. Three, two, one. <laughs> What up, Rep Bag? It's your boy here, King Reptar, back with another video. I hope you guys are having an amazing day. And if you guys aren't, you know the drill camera flip. It's about to get a whole lot brighter, Rep Bag, because today I have something extremely fun for you guys. So, right over here. <laughs> Does that take any longer to, to settle? <laughs> so over here, we have the air bell. If you're not familiar with what the air bell is, let me give you a real quick demonstration. Oh. As you guys can see, but they're both targets and very, very hard. <laughs> Basically, if you guys don't know what the airbow is, and if you guys do know what the airbow is, you, you already know it's no pee. But this is the world's most powerful arrow launcher. It can shoot an arrow harder than anything else, harder than a crossbow, harder than a compound bow. There is nothing that shoots an arrow as hard as the airbow. So I thought, why don't we just always shoot the regular arrows, the old broadheads? Typically, we'd use a basic broadhead. You can see that one's already flattened. This is usually what we use because they're good for penetration, but that's about all they're good for. You guys know about arrows. Arrows. There's a huge variety of different types of arrows. You guys have been asking for an arrow based video for a long time. So what I have for you guys today is this thing right here is replaceable. You can remove this off the head and put any type of head you want and still shoot it out of the arrow So what I did, I went on Amazon and a lot, a lot, a lot of regrettable money, but I bought every single broadhead I could find on Amazon. Every design, any type of weird shaped thing I could find that I could fit on the end of this thing. I have an Amazon package, a mystery package that has every single one in there. We're just gonna grab one out where to go with it and see what it can do. And all of them might have different information on how they work and we'll have to break that down as well. So anyway, let's get in there. All right guys, so we're in here and this is all of them. You'd think, I, I thought they were gonna come in a bigger box, but it turns out broadheads are kind of small. So all of them are in here. There is over 15 broadheads in here. I don't know how much time we're gonna have for them, but if you guys wanna see a part two, let me know. I'll try and get through as many as I can in this video. Let's go ahead and pop this baby open. Okay, so we're gonna pull one out. Damn, what? That was a nice first one to pull out. Okay, so right here we got some Black Panther, Wakanda, Captain America Shield. <laughs> okay, so look at how fat that is. That thing's ridiculous. <laughs> look how sharp. It looks very sharp. <laughs> can't even see it on camera. I, I cannot. <laughs> so see that comparison to the normal one we use. Oh my god. <laughs> so this is what we normally shoot with the air bow, this basic broadhead. So now we're gonna be able to strap this thing. This is like Native American arrowhead. Yeah, I was just <laughs> thinking that. It's very inspired by it, I'm sure. All right, so we're gonna take this outside and see how this thing works. And then we'll move on and see what else is in this box. All right, so we got it on and God, that's a lot more intimidating already. <laughs> oh yeah, it is. I mean, the other one, hell yeah, it'll go through me. It'll it'll hurt me. But this thing, this will go slice everything up. <laughs> so over here, yeah, pretty much every power read flavor that I could find. We're gonna be trying it out with the thing to keep in mind guys is the broadhead we used in previous episodes that was made for strictly penetration so for these ones i can't say that they're going to go through every single target because they're not made for that this one isn't made to make a big ass wound and that's pretty much it but let's try it out because this is a lot more surface area to slow it down three two one <laughs> jesus christ it's Still, I'm, despite the surface area, it still went through all of them. Dude, okay. dead ass, I think I just closed. Okay, it's barely dripping at this point. It's, but then if I squeeze it, it's, ser <laughs> it's servable. Like, what the yeah. heck? Literally, dude, look at that wound. So, that looks like trick yogurt. Oh my god. <laughs> Doesn't taste like Trick's yogurt at all, though. Tastes like a air boat went through it. <laughs> okay, so, oh my. It didn't go through, but damn near it. Oh my god. <laughs> Jesus Christ. That went through all of the power range and that deep into the speed bag. It turns out, it doesn't matter if you strap a pillow onto an air boat, it's going through it. <laughs> all right, guys. So now what we're going to be doing is we're going to be using this broadhead to shoot the back of this metal trash can. For one, to see the entry damage on it. But so we can see the shape of the indent. And we're going to do this with every single broadhead after we do the test shot. So we can see which impression we end up liking the most. Let's start with this one. Three, two, one. <laughs> well, it's safe to say that little trash can. <laughs> Billy, what are you doing outside in the trash can? You know what they say, Mom? You always end up with someone like your mother. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> I was trying not to f this thing. <gasps> nope. <gasps> oh my god! 
my god. Okay, so this was just a test for this. The air bow, y'all. I'm trying to tell you this air bow ain't no joke. How can it be stuck in a stone? One of the many times you're gonna see the ludicrous, disgusting, unnecessary power of the air bow. Went through a sheet of metal, went through a full speed bag into a stone. I've never seen that happen to a broadhead before. Jesus Christ. <laughs> I was not expecting that today. Like I said, I said last video, Frank Negan. You know, Yondu, rest in peace. Still. <laughs> Because this is way hair bow, Andu air bow. <laughs> All right, so let's go ahead and see what is next in this box of awesome broadheads. As you guys can see, clearly changing the broadhead on the end makes a huge difference to what the air bow can do. So let's see what else we got in here. Oh, yes. Okay, what is this? What do we got here? Bludgeon. Oh. Dude, that looks like Metagross's foot. <laughs> Cannot be unseen. <laughs> All right, so we have Metagross's foot. So we went with something just now that had a lot of puncturing power. This is the opposite. It's made for impact. It's called a bludgeon because these spikes are not made to go into the target. It's made to just, <laughs> just <laughs> It's not made to kill it. It's just made to really, 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 it's like a punch. No, it's like more than a punch. It's like, it's like a Bruce Lee kick. <laughs> it's like the, it's the rubber bullets that guns have. This is a bludgeon. We're gonna go outside. I have no clue what to expect with this either. But the difference about this video Yo guys, they're not using a bow where the bludgeon may just bounce off of it. It's a fair bow. No, I think this is still yeah, gonna, it's gonna go through it. It's still gonna go through it. <laughs> we're gonna try the bludgeon. Let's see what this thing can do. All right, guys. So now we're gonna be trying the bludgeon, which I said is made for impact. So we're gonna try a simple target, actually. My goal is, is because it's a bludgeon, maybe it can either go either the air bow is so powerful it'll just hole punch and goes through it, or maybe what could happen is the blunt impact will make it explode, which definitely wouldn't happen with our normal broadhead. So we can see the difference there. Like I said, there's a Big possibility it might just hole punch it. We'll find out. Three, two, one. <laughs> Like I told you, I'll punch it. Oh! Oh, God. <laughs> oh my God. The bludgeon is not made to do that. It's made to maybe hit this side and pop this side as a water bottle. It's made to hit a person and just kind of maim them, hurt their ribs. But if you shot it with a fear bow, it's just staying there. It's going through or going in for sure. We're going to try the bludgeon one more time on a different target and see if that works out any differently. And then we're going to move over to the next one. Three, two, one. <laughs> Okay, it actually worked this time. Oh, never mind. It, it went through the whole thing. Oh, okay. <laughs> Look at that. There's a label stuck to it. At one point, that said vanilla. Now it says vanilla. <laughs> All right, so now we're going to do the trash can shot. And we're going to see, is it going to dent it or is it going to hole punch it like this is a water bottle? The bludgeon supposed to dent it. If we were shooting on a compound bow, it would definitely dent it. But on an air bow... That was so loud. It dented it, though. Dented. Oh, <laughs> the flood... I'm done with the arrow bow. Damn, this thing's in there. My God. <laughs> so we were in one arrow, which if you guys don't know, but the one the one thing about the arrow that sucks kind of is it's basically 10 bucks an arrow. So you just saw $10 get wasted, but hey, it, it worked for a while. <laughs> Even with the arrow bow, we'll not bludgeon. It's just gonna go through the bludgeon. So compared to the last shot, that's what we had. And on this one, you can see the bludgeon because you notice it dented it. <laughs> yeah, it dented the whole freaking can. Whereas this one went straight right through. So that's the difference in the bludgeon. Let's move on to whatever's next in there. I just can't wait to find out. Okay. So so, so far, nothing has happened the way that it's supposed to. None of the broadheads are doing what their function is because of the power, but it's been a lot of fun. We're gonna go back in here. I'm gonna fill for a blister pack because the really expensive ones come in a blister. I know because I, some of them were like $50, $60 for three broadheads. Yeah, wow. there's one, yeah, there's one later that you're gonna see that it was $60 for one broadhead. I, so, <laughs> I, I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, me too. That's why I liked that free video last time. Okay, <laughs> so here we go. Let's pull it out see what we got here. Blister time. Oh, yes. <laughs> Expandable broadhead. Yeah, this thing expands, dude. 100 grain, four blades. Switch blade. Damn, dude. <laughs> okay, so I got this thing out. You guys are gonna believe this thing. So here's what we're, you know, we're our typical, you know, we're starting back here because I wanna show you what kind of jumps we're making here. So this is the basic broadhead. Gonna put that right there so you can see it. This is what we used in the last two episodes of Aerobro. And now we're moving on to something a little bit more devious. Check this. <laughs> oh, that thing looks archaic. Like what, how could we have been using this when something like this exists? So how this works, guys, you're not gonna believe it. So, so right over here, there's a rubber band. This holds the blades down. So you see there's a big broadhead right here that's the arrow. And you see 
these little arms right here. So when it goes, let's say hypothetically, these two pinched fingers were an injury, it enters in, the blades open. That rubber band holds down, so that way it's like that, and there's pressure. And it's literally guides through the target with those razor blade wings. I can't so, wait to see. We're gonna see how it works though. My only concern though is, it's a fair bow. <laughs> what if it hits so hard, none of these functions even, even start to work? So we'll find out. All right guys, so here we go. We have the opening switchblade broadhead. I've never shot a, a broadhead that has a switchblade built into it. The goal is, is hopefully it hits here, these wings open, and we'll get to see the path that it makes with the open wings. Or like I said, the airbow might just launch the whole thing through. I have no clue. As you can clearly see from the last two broadheads, I have no clue how any of this is gonna work out. Three, two, one. Oh, what in the world? Dude, the just head happened. is over there. Where did the arrow go, though? Okay, guys, we're not really 100% sure what happened, but all we do know is that the arrow broke into three different pieces. This is a 100% carbon fiber arrow. Whatever happened, it had to be pretty goddamn bad for this to happen. Anyway, we're gonna try it again and see if that hopefully doesn't happen. Three, two, one. Okay, now we should be able to see. So the way that I shot that one was like this. So the blade should have come down and up. So let's see how the target worked. Did the arrowhead work? Oh, do you see him? It actually worked. <laughs> oh my God, Dude. that slice is so deep. That is a, look how straight that line is too. You can see it really good on this one. You see that freaking oh, like yeah, dude. X. <laughs> yeah. So that's like a freaking triad dagger, but four. And it's literally an arrow. Oh, and that's an example of what would happen if you try to pull it out. And actually the broadhead held up. Right, not as usable as it was before, but it actually worked. Now let's see, will these broadhead razors be able to make it through metal? Okay, so this thing's pretty ridiculous, but let's see, will those blades still open up and make an entry on something a little bit more fortified? And we're gonna see the design a little better. Three, two, one. Yes, it does. Oh! <laughs> Actually, the razors are strong enough to make it through metal, dude. Okay, let's get back inside the box and see what other guys kind of got in there. All right, here we go. I'm grabbing this big bag on top. It's been getting in my way the whole time. <laughs> Do you remember these? Let's open these up right now. Oh, get those away <laughs> from me. <laughs> so these are like the bludgeons made for impact. But these are supposed to be like a baby, baby, like really soft version. So you twist these on and it's supposed to turn an arrow into a nerf dart basically. It's super, super, super cushiony. A long time ago, me and Parker did this video where basically we strapped these on to a crossbow and took a hit. Cause you use these like in a nerf war, you know, bow and arrow hit. It won't hurt that bad with the 70 pound, 90 pound bow and arrow or a compound bow wouldn't be that bad. But with a crossbow, it hit my leg so hard. I'm not gonna play any clips because YouTube's guidelines these days, but it hit my leg so hard. Those that you saw the video, my pores, my pores were bleeding. So my thing, that was with a weak 150 pound crossbow. What if we put it onto an air bow? <laughs> of course, in no shape or form are me or Parker trying this. Cause oh, <laughs> absolutely not. If an air bow did this, I am pretty sure even with this amount of cushion, this whole soft padding back here. I think that would still break several ribs. <laughs> Let's go outside. Probably not gonna do too much of this thing. Let's see what kind of damage the airbow can do with just the cushion pad. All right, guys. So this is what this thing would do with a regular compound bow. And goes over the fence. Just be annoying. That's all it is. And before I go over there, you can see it clearly did absolutely nothing not to even, it. Yeah, it's not even like soft. All right, so we got the cushion tip on again. This is the made where you could actually hit people with it. But this is an air bow. This isn't the same thing. So let's see what would happen if this was two years ago. Me and me and Parker were stupid enough to try this on ourselves. Putting this here because there's a very good chance this could bounce back. Parker's got a shield on as well. Here we go. Three, two, one. <laughs> This would be hypothetic. Our legs. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, so what happened was, was the cushion didn't cushion. It, it, it. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> so the cushion hit, but at some point it didn't do much. And the arrow went through the whole cushion, into the melon, into the damn speed bag. So before we film this though, me and, oh my god. Oh! I didn't even notice that in the first one. <laughs> before oh. we filmed this, Parker asked me the cushion tip on there. How much would it cost for me to get shot in the butt cheek, the softest spot? I said a hundred grand because I thought maybe, just maybe the cushion might work. Now that I've seen this, then never would I do it. All right, we're doing the blow. Legend this one, the shields are up because again, this kid ricochet. Three, two, one. <laughs> oh, I told you it bounced. 
off the bat. Now, all of that did was a dent. I mean, it dented it pretty damn well considering it's an air bow, but it's still just a dent because it is a foam tip. That was a lot of fun, but unless you're using an air bow, those things aren't really that damaging, so I'm sure there's some more damaging stuff in there. So let's find out. All right, guys, get back in here. This one's got like a case, it feels like. Okay, okay, let's see what we got here. Bruh. Oh, ho, ho, all right, guys. So we found the item we were looking for here. This is a twisted arrowhead, guys. So let me go get something real quick. So this right here, guys, the M48 Triad Dagger. This is the world's most dangerous dagger. And you guys absolutely love this, and I absolutely love it. I just, it's just beautiful. I don't use it too often because I want to keep it in good condition. I love it too. <laughs> yeah, everybody loves it. Right here, I looked, it took me a while, took me a long time, but I looked and I found them. These are twisted arrowheads. Heads. So when they enter, just like the M48, this thing twists into the target all the way through. That's just wrong. <laughs> if you guys want to know why twisting matters, it creates a cavity that is just not something you can fix very easily. It's very, very painful. <laughs> Let's go outside and see what happens when we shoot a twisted dagger out of an air bow. So what we're going to do is watch this fletching right here very closely. I'm going to put this on there, fletching the green fletching down. So that way we can really see if it is actually twisting into the target. So keep that straight. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna hit these two targets right here. We got the Sam Cola and two watermelons. I think the watermelon's gonna really help with the flesh and the spinning a part of it. And honestly, the Sam's Cola there is just to hopefully slow it down a little bit enough to where the whole thing doesn't go into that thing. Three, two, one. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> I don't even know. The arrow's not even there for us to see the damn fletchings. Oh. Ah. 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 Oh. Ah. That's right. Ah. <laughs> ah. Let's see where the fletching's at. The fletching was down, correct? Uh, yeah, it was down. It's up now. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so we know some kind of twistage happened. Let's go ahead and pull this back piece up. It went into the dam. <laughs> I mean, as expected. What do we expect out of like an M48 tip? Wait, no, dude. Look at what? what I'm pulling out. Dude, but look at how it twisted into it. It literally had to twist back on. So I'm going to see if we can cut into this and see if we can see any kind of canal. Okay, see if we can pop this open, see any kind of canal that it would make. So the fletching moves, so we know that the da the actual arrow was twisting, which is pretty epic. I wish there was some other way for us to demonstrate it twisting other than that, but it is definitely twisting. You can see the deep canal it made through the entire melon. I wish that the, the material was better so we can see the twist. Based off the fleshing location, I know it is twisting, but let me see what else we can come up with. Okay, guys, so what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be trying on the and seeing if maybe if the plastic is if it's making just a straight hole that means that because of the power of the air bow it's not twisting which I hope it is just enough to just keep it twisting that'd be great but if it just goes straight through as a hole it's probably the power all right fletching is down so a mixture of the fletching being moved and also the puncture hopefully that should be enough evidence for us to see that it is definitely moving all right here we go three two one Love of God! Let's see where the fletching is. Fletching on this one's down, but that could have also been from the twist. Oh, dude, it's definitely twisting. You can see them. Wait, right, you see oh, it? Oh, It's a triad. It's twisting. And then on this one down here, you can actually kind of see the divot around. You see the space around the arrow? A normal one with these broadheads would twist completely because it has enough time to. The air bow, it's twisting, but it's like only kind of twisting and just shredding through everything else. All right, so now we got the twisted dagger on there. Let's see what kind of design it's going to make into the metal. Three. Two, one. <laughs> you can see that it pretty much just made a hole, but you can see the actual, like, kind of like the tri triangulateness of it. So we're, we're pretty much spot on. It's twisting, but it's mostly just kind of twisting and just <laughs> powering through. All right, guys, we only got time for one more broad. Now, let's see what we got in here. I'm grabbing for a blister. If we got time for one more. I'm grabbing a blister. Yes. Check this out. What the? Oh my god. <laughs> What the f*** is that? Okay, this is a good one to finish up on. It's gonna be used for all types of hunting, but this basically, if you're not that good of a shot, you can use this and it expands your radius to all of this giant circle, basically. I'm not really sure how it's gonna work because these things don't like move back at all. It's like almost like a wall hitting something. So we're gonna find out how they work. I just thought they were super interesting. These were by far the most expensive of any of the broadheads you've seen in this video. That was expensive when it came with a directional DVD. Oh my God. <laughs> that we're definitely not gonna read. <laughs> or, or watch. All right, guys, we got a fresh airbow shot ready to go, and damn. That looks that, so intimidating, dude. <laughs> that thing is terrible. Can you imagine from a distance? You just like, I don't want to imagine. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even want to imagine that. Here we go. We're going to try it on a softer target here. We're going to try it on these, because this will be a good way to see if these blades actually can hold up and make it through. I have no clue what to expect. Three, two, one. 
Oh. oh! You went from a broadhead, which had a radius of about that, to, to well, this. <laughs> okay, we're gonna try out something a little bit more dense now and see if those three blades still travel all the way through. All right, so now we have something a little bit more massive. See if it works the same way. All right, here we go. Three, two, one. God, dude. dude, look at what it did. Those it's stress <laughs> marks. It just went through. I almost have trouble believing it. It literally created a blade through the entire thing. Thing. I think that was definitely worth the money. Yeah, and you know that was 80 bucks. Oh wow, hang on, what? It was a lot of money. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. But when you said. can buy this with an air bow, you got something undefeatable. You got Lex Luthor in the flesh. You got the God Killer. Now, now I'm gonna experiment with this. Okay, let's just try something here. Okay, guys. So over here we have this pool noodle makeshift. My goal here is hopefully is to shoot the arrow through here and see if it can actually slice the pool noodle. This may not work. We're gonna try it out and see if it works. Three. Two, one. Exactly the way I wanted it to happen. I literally can't believe it. <laughs> we just cut something into three pieces with an arrow. Who does that? ADHD world. <laughs> Exclusively. Okay, so now we're gonna be trying it on that, which is probably a bad idea because that is hard plastic. We're gonna be going through the cap. We're gonna see how it works. Do not try at home. <laughs> well, don't try, especially this, but any of it. Just yeah, don't try anything you see here at home, but especially this. Three, two, one. Ooh. Dude, you split the box. Oh! It did go through! I'm calling that a success. <laughs> Dude, look at the razor cut. That is amazing. All right, guys. So right here, we got the triple bladed one. We're going to be testing it out. Are the blades strong enough, though, to make it through some metal? An actual fortified structure? Let's find out if we can get the impression on there like the other ones. Let's do it. Three, two, one. Oh, oh my God! <laughs> What in the world? Oh my god. Okay, well there's that one compared to the other ones. Oh my jeez. <laughs> done for today. I think that about sums up today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, make sure to smash that like button, subscribe if you're new here, and check this video on your screen right here, which is actually an episode called You Draw It, I Buy It, where basically me and Barker design all types of crazy, unrealistic, weird weapons and draw them, and the other person has to try and find them. So check that video out right there. You'll get to see all types of amazing, weird type of stuff. I'll see you guys over there. I hope you guys enjoyed this, and as always, right back, I'll see you beautiful people in the next one. Adios. Bloop.